Welcome into WRTV News at 6 on this Monday. I'm Amanda Starantino. And I'm Mark Mullins. First at 6 o'clock tonight, it is a day of celebration in a south side neighborhood. A house that neighbors say is only riddled with problems. Home to problems was demolished after years of complaints to the city. WRTV reporter Cameron Riddle has been reporting on the issues with this property for the past year. And tonight, Cameron joins us live from what's left of that house. Cameron. Hey Mark, good evening. Neighbors here on Harlan Street are very, very happy tonight. It has been a year since they first called me out to check out what was a nuisance of a home. It was this time last year that used needles were found on the sidewalk as one of the neighborhood kids was getting on the school bus. Now tonight, the neighbors who live on this block say their entire neighborhood has been improved. Katrina Cunningham and Robin Wood Gephardt are two of the neighbors who have consistently called the city and WRTV in an effort to get this place knocked down. Over the past year, we've done a series of stories on this address, first after those needles were found, and then after squatters returned to the house, which partially collapsed after a fire last year. WRTV took their concerns to the mayor's office, which informed us the house had been slated for demolition since 2018, and could actually be demolished by the end of 2019 or then the early part of 2020. When that did not happen, we were back here again and here again last month and again earlier this month. Delay after delay, neighbors here say they would not believe that the house is actually going to be torn down until after it is torn down. After our latest reporting this month, neighbors woke up to the sound of semi trucks and bulldozers. The house is finally coming down. <laughs> finally, after I've been, it was burnt down two years ago this month, and we've been fighting with the city for the past year or so, trying to get it down, because we found needles at the bus stop over here, vagrants, kids climbing in and out. We're just waiting for someone to get hurt, and finally it's down. Well, uh, as the construction crews were out here earlier this morning, I was speaking with them around 930. He says, hey, as we were actually knocking down this house, we did a walkthrough. We yelled inside, checked to see if anyone was actually inside. We didn't hear from anybody. But as soon as they started knocking down the back wall of this property, they said a man ran out saying he was still living inside and would need about an hour to get his stuff out. That just shows you right there how active this house was. Reporting live tonight on the South Side, I'm Cameron Riddle, WRTV. Cameron, thanks for getting those results.